819's our time. Today is National Own Your Own Home Day, and joining me to talk about it now is realtor Sarah Bernard. Sarah, you're based in Chesterfield. Tell us a little bit about your experience in the real estate industry. Oh my gosh, I've been in real estate for a long time, since 2008. Started out as an investor and then property management, and then got into working with buyers and sellers. I've been doing it a long time, and it's such a great field. It's such an interesting market. Every year is different, a little bit different. Um, home ownership is really important to people. It's important to Americans and National home, Own Your Own Home Day is a great day to talk about real estate. Yeah, so today's all about celebrating homeowners. Yeah. And I did read a statistic, more than 50% of Americans actually own their own home. Yeah. So what would you say the benefits are of owning versus renting? Yeah, well, and there's a, there's a time in everyone's life where renting makes more sense. So if you're just starting out, you don't have the savings yet to, to buy a home, to get a down payment on, on a home. You're in between jobs, you're in between homes, you're in between cities, you're just out of college. There's times when renting makes sense, right? And even last year, we saw a lot of people not able to buy a home because it was so competitive, so people had to rent for a little bit. But owning a home is really what, it's a great opportunity to, to, earn, to earn money and to diversify um, your, your savings opportunities, right? So when you, when you buy a home, you're paying uh, a mortgage um, every month. Part of that goes to interest, that goes to the bank. Part of it goes to equity for your home. So when you sell that home eventually, whether it's five years down the road, 15 years, you get some of that money back. And so that's one of the big advantages of owning a home. Sure thing. And what are some of your projections for 2023? We're only 21 days into the new yeah. year. So do you think more people are going to be buying or selling? So it's an interesting year and it's still early in the year, as you said. And as you mentioned, 50 percent of, of Americans own their own home. But what we know from a Harvard um, University housing study is that 7 percent of those homeowners will sell their home every single year. So no matter the market, Market, they're going to be selling their homes. So we're going to see people selling. There's still buyers from last year who couldn't get a home. They're still out there needing homes to buy. The inventory in our area is still very low. It's about a one to two month inventory, which means that if no other homes come on the market in the next two months, there'll be no homes uh, available, but we know that homes are going to be coming on the market. So there's still buyers. Buyers have more buying power now because there's not as, as much competition to, to purchase, not as many uh, with the interest rates a little bit higher. Um, we're not seeing as many people trying to compete for the same home. For sellers, though, there's, it's a great time to sell because there's not a lot of competition in the marketplace. It's still ahead of the spring market. Um, even though rates are a little bit higher, their buyer pool might be a little bit smaller. Sellers still um, have an opportunity. They may not get over their list price, but they can still sell their house. I, I just think it's going to be a really maybe back to a more normal market, which okay. is not a bad thing to be. That's some good insight. Yeah. And then people looking to buy a home, what should they consider? Oh my gosh, always um, location. We talk about that, but location means something different to each of us, right? What's an important location to you might be different from an important location to me. So have, having to do with schools, neighborhoods, parks, your proximity to your workplace, um, to if you like walkability or if that's not important to you, privacy is more important. Location is always something to consider. What in a home that you like, someone else is going to like down the road. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously location, price, um, maintenance, if you want a home that has work to be done and you have money to do that and the time and energy, or if you want a home that's already already move-in ready, I mean, those are things to consider as well. Is there a better buying season in St. Louis or a better time of year to buy a home? You know, I'm a believer in any time of year is a good time to buy. And as a seller, I mean, I'm a believer in get ahead of the market. You're, we always think of like April to probably June, July is the big selling season in any uh, metro area. I say get ahead of it. Why compete with every other home seller? Get it. it I, we always sell a lot of homes this time of year. So there's really no, it's whatever is the right time for you to sell or to buy is the, is the time you should be doing it. Sarah Bernard, thanks so much. You can watch this segment again by clicking on this article on our website, fox2now.com. We'll be right back after this quick break.